um, the cuts are going to be absolutely devastating. We're looking at uh, cuts of up to maybe £750,000. So this comes on three years already of really brutal cuts to public, um, the public sector and, and voluntary sector services. The cuts itself are disproportionate to the most marginalised people in Manchester. There's a lot of um, nervousness. People are unsure about whether they're going to be able to maintain their employment. We, as an organisation, any more cuts, I don't think we can survive. Our problem at the moment really is um, that the mental health team who manage our building have now heard that they've definitely been cut from March, so that team won't exist anymore. These level of cuts can hit organisation against organisation. The online consultation isn't accessible. Three, uh, we've accessed three funding pots. One's the qualities, one's the youth, uh, youth fund and one's uh, the public health fund. So it isn't accessible. I tried it last night with uh, eight young disabled people. We couldn't get on. The questions was not in the, uh, uh, an easy, understandable format. We're looking at at least a 50% cut, and that might mean staff hours, that might mean job losses, that might mean uh, young disabled people don't get signposted on to other services. And it's not just feeling the impact of the cuts, there's a knock-on effect as well, because the cuts are happening and then funding bodies also, I feel, are becoming um, less sensitive to certain needs within certain communities. It's like um, a strive for survival. And, um, a lot of times we're under pressure now to be, um, I guess, justifying our existence um, rather than being able to, co to um, concentrate on the quality of services. That's the people that are really going to be at loss are the people that really need the service. We make a huge difference. I believe that we are taking burden and a lot of pressure of the care managers, the GPs, the hospitals, even the community itself. Um, there is a huge um, gap between the care and people's well-being. And now with this more cutbacks, we really dread to think what will happen. The impact of that would be massive now on the people we work with locally, you know, people have got to rely on that service and it's had such an impact on older people who've been very isolated and lonely on their own and have suddenly found friendship groups, activities they enjoy, things they did in the past that they've, they're now back into doing and they've got new lives again, you know. I think we're at a time when the city can't take any more cuts um, services have been struggling on the level of funding already and the level of cuts, another £60 million on top of that, is just unworkable. More people are going to end up um, being um, sectioned into secure units. More people are going to end up going to prison. More people are also going to die. There's going to be increased pressure on the NHS in terms of medicating and caring for patients who don't need to become patients. The hubs at Manchester City Council are proposing to invest in are not at the moment like being very welcoming to uh, uh, young disabled people or disabled people throughout Manchester. We've seen an £11 million um, pound dividend from the airport just being announced. I understand the City Council is already starting to spend that, which I don't understand when they're supposedly going through a consultation programme. Um, that money needs to be set aside until consultation has been completed so they can use that um, to sustain some of the, the vital services that people need. We had cutbacks, him had had cutbacks last year, so that meant that all the staff, the six of us, have gone part-time. We do two days paid work and one day volunteering work. Right across the board in terms of our service provision, we've tried to maintain the same levels of services, becoming very much even more reliant upon volunteers, but 
the development of volunteers that's one thing because if you don't have the money to invest to develop your your vo volunteer structures then the quality of volunteering um, being able to sustain volunteers affects our service and will affect services right across the board. All our services are vital and I think we need to join together as a sector to fight these cuts and to say to the City Council um, you need to protest more strongly to central government about the, the level of cuts being imposed on Manchester. You need to be more imaginative about your own budget to make sure that um, the most vulnerable citizens get the services they deserve. So we keep getting told Manchester is a city of huge economic growth, um, but how at, in that time are the residents in Manchester suffering so badly with basic care services being cut away and I think the message is, is enough is enough, we cannot sustain any more cuts to services in the city.